welcome back guys to another video in this video we are going to look at today's stock market market action for june 29th we'll be looking at the dow jones s p 500 and nasdaq's their action and we'll be looking at couple of stocks which is performed today and couple of stocks which is underperformed today so let's get started um, before we move on this is our website please get a please check it out when you get a chance and check it out all our social media sites we are everywhere and please subscribe to this channel as you see the market had a good day today the dow jones posted almost 580 points and the s p 500 posted almost 44 points and the nasdaq is 117 points so today was overall a good day for the market and uh, let's look at their weekly chart So you guys are looking at the weekly chart for Dow Jones. I love the weekly chart because the daily chart has a lot of noise. The weekly chart reduces the noise. And the two indicators that I follow is 10-week uh, moving average and 50-week moving average. And the last week I told you guys that uh, even though the Friday was a sell-off day, bad day, the indices, the Dow Jones still found support at the 10-week moving average. And today also, it found support at the 10-week moving average and rallied from there. So as of now, this is you know, getting solidified. So we will see how much you know it can hold here. But the next big test is you now it should clear this 50-week moving average because it's getting running into resistance the last couple of weeks. So let's see that uh, it is going to take uh, that line this week or not. The S&P 500 found support at the 50-week moving average last week. So now it is you know both the 10-week and 50 weeks almost catching up, and hopefully this index uh, index you now rally from here, and the 10-week moving average you know cross over the 50-week moving average in coming days. So as of now the chart looks good, and let's see how this index behave in coming days. The NASDAQ chart still look rock solid. It's trading well above its 10-week moving average. It's trading well above its 50-week moving average. But the next key test is you know, whether it can cross the 10,000 price level and you know, stay above that key price level because it's kind of you know, getting knocked out quite a bit on that 10,000 price level. So let's see how it behaves in coming days. So let's take a look at the tracker real quick. Uh, today's recap, you can still see that you know around 350 stocks are still in our pick list, and you know most of the stocks went up today, and uh, you can see still over 200 stocks posting very healthy gains uh, since the rally started, and uh, here are a few stocks which went up and which went down, and the heat map is you now almost look. So the heat map broke really solid for the day. Most of the stock went up and a little bit went down. So let's look at a couple of winners for the day and losers for the day. The first stock we are going to look at is Crocs. It is you now added almost 6% gain for the day. And altogether it's putting almost 20% gain since 526 when it's added to the tracker. And looks like it's offering a secondary entry point as of today. So let's look at its chart. So the stock was added right here and it almost posting 20% gain since then. And you know it is consolidated here and today is offering another entry point from this point onwards like 3507. The next one, the next one we're going to look at is a uh, team. Uh, it went down almost 6% for the day. So it's added to the tracker around this price level and it is still trading is within its secondary buy zone. So let's see how this stock behaves in coming days. And here is the tracker. It is offering a secondary entry point as of June 11th. It is still trading within that zone and it posted almost 21% gain since 414. So the one liner is like you now leading growth stocks today like Apple, uh, everything you know went up really well along with the indices because indices had a really a good day today uh, that's all guys please subscribe to this channel and i will see you guys in another video relatively very shortly and thank you very much